Hi guys, uh, in this video tutorial, we will try to <clears throat> create a CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. So basically, we will try to mimic a whole production application where uh, basically all the steps happen before the code gets deployed to production. So we will basically use a front end application to mimic this, although the step will be similar for any other application. So here we, here we are using a Next.js app. So a Next.js, if you don't know, is basically a framework which is uh, which is like a react only so so i've created the project here so if you want to follow along so you just need to use the npx to create your application like this uh, let me show you that the application is working so i will use npm run dev and if i go to the page so this is working so this this which we will try to deploy it to production using github actions and all the ci cd pipelines and stuff uh, and if you want to like get the what basically is github actions and all the um all the commands GitHub Actions use, you can just go ahead in the GitHub Action documentation and they have all the uh, syntax uh, level. Uh, so let's get started. So let's get to the code base. So inside the code base, uh, in your root directory of your repository, I will create a new folder. And this folder is basically going to be a hidden folder and its name should be exactly like this. So it should start with a period and then GitHub. So basically using this only, the GitHub will understand that your repository has some workflows in it or the CI CD pipeline is available in your repository. So I will create this folder and inside this folder only I will create another folder with the name of workflows and this should also match. Inside this work folder, we can have multiple workflows, but we will start with a simple one. So I will name, uh, name it as simple dot not js, so simple dot yml. So basically, uh, GitHub Actions uh, or any kind of uh, uh, CI/CD pipeline actions requires your files to be written in YML mostly. So we will use YAML for this. If you don't know YAML, it is very simple to understand. Uh, I will try to like add. I will try to um, explain what I'm going. Uh, to do in this uh, overall application using YAML. So uh, let's get to uh, let's get started. So first of all, the 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 most important of them all is the name one. So basically, this tells the GitHub uh, actions to uh, this is the name of our pipeline. So I will name it as simple pipeline. This name can be anything. Okay. So the next one is basically an event. So this is uh, um, write it as on so it basically is an event on what event we want our pipeline to be run uh, so i will use a simple event that is a push event so basically if somebody pushes our code in any branches uh, in any branches we will use this one so for this one i will use the main branch but if you're working in a production application uh, the branches can be different like dev feature or something like that because you don't want to push your changes to main branch okay so what will this do if if i change if i push any code to the main branch this simple pipeline will start running so we will uh, look later on how this really works so this is the first thing you need to do and this is the most important one so you can add multiple um events here like push pull or something like that you can add multiple here you can also add different branch like this so you can add it uh, like, like that only so now the next one is the jobs one. so basically this will have all the jobs available in your pipeline listed so this will have all the jobs listed in your pipeline now this can be any type of jobs you want so to id different jobs you need a name so like we are mimicking a production based application so we will try to like mimic it exactly like that uh the one which i'm currently working on so i will add a i will add a job here which is lint test so this job is basically to check the linting of the whole overall project so if you have uh, if you can go to the package.json we have a linting script here so which, which will just use the next lint to run the es lint to check all the code base uh, like the syntax and all that in our project uh, in our code base so i will name it as lint test okay now this lint test will have <coughs> uh, this job will have different steps and so the first thing we need to do is to add the name of this uh, step basically so we'll add lint here uh, this name can be anything this name can be anything it's up to you okay now the next one is runs on so the runs on is basically the platform you want your um, 
pipeline to be run like it can be an vm uh, where it can be a docker container or anything can, like that but we will use ubuntu uh, for this one so you can use ubuntu any version but i'm going to use latest now the next one is steps so steps is where all the different steps you want to run in this job so any step you want to run in this job so basically we, what we are doing is to like checking uh, we want to run this script as soon as the code gets pushed into this ubuntu latest so i will do that only so first of all i will what i do is to name a step here so this is going to be so this uh, hyphen dash means that it can it can have multiple this property can have multiple um, values think of it as an array or something like that okay so i will name it, name it as clone repository okay so this will basically clone the repository in our runner which is the ubuntu latest and it it will use with this uh, it will use a basic uh, predefined action which is defined by github actions so this is actions check out at the rate v2 so this will basically check out the main branch okay after that uh, what we're going to use is to install the dependencies of this project so if you are uh, working with a node.js project you what you do is to just install the dependency using npm install so that is what we will do here so i will name another step here so i will name it as install dependencies i don't know if it is correct mm, i think it's not correct anyway okay now the next one is the run command so run is basically used to run script or commands in this one uh, in this um, in this in this operating system or something like that so we are running this on open to latest so we can run bash script inside it so we will use a run command to add different commands in it so to add you can add a simple command here like this okay but as we are, as i want to add different commands in it so i will use a pipe here and indenting is very important so as I will move uh, uh, inside the run. I will write echo. So basically, I will see uh, this getting printed on the console when this is uh, pushed. So I will write it here running installing dependencies. Okay, something like that. Now, the next installing dependencies. So after that, I will run another command which is npm install. So basically, like to install the whole packages in our uh, repository in our container here. Okay. Now, basically, this command is not this step is not needed, but I'm showing you by uh, any means. But but this is not needed. It, it it is only needed when you are like creating a Docker container or something uh, in your repository. But uh, I'm adding it in anyway. So okay. Now the next one is the one we named it for. Like we will use the lint. This one. To basically check the file does not have any error or something like that so i will name it as run okay uh, forgot to add this one now in this one also i will use the run command to basically run <coughs> in different commands so i will another, i will add another echo statement here running then tests and the command will be npm okay now if you are running and test you need an additional command so in env by the way you can add env here in this using this property so i will add ci true so if you're running um, a test you need this command to be enabled so that uh, it, it basically does not uh, runs in watch mode okay so this this step is done so let me show you how this will look if we push the code to the github um, repository so to do that so all i can go to the root directory so i've already created the repository so let's go to uh, github and create a new repository so i will name it as something like test tools C I C D and everything is fine. I'm going to create a repository. So this step is done. This is also done. So I will add this one. So I will add it. Add. I will basically add the whole code. I will commit it and I will name it as initial commit. Okay. And then 
I will add this remote origin and then I will push the button. Okay, if I refresh it, I can see our workflows is also here. But as soon as I post it, you can see this uh, on the action tab, you can see that the initial commit, the commit name and the pipeline, which is the simple pipeline started running. So this is started running. If you click on this one, you will see the steps it started. So clone the repository, it did that. It is running the dependencies and like this is the step it is following. So this is the clone repository. Then the install dependencies, this one, and then the linting, this one. And if you can, if you want to see the um, logs of it, you can simply click on this uh, drop down and you can see all the logs. So you can see the logs which we echoed in the code. Now, so our first job is completed. Now let's get to writing some another job. So this one is done. So lint test is done. Okay. Now let's add some another jobs here. So I will basically copy this one only. Okay, so I, this name should be different. This is the uh, name which GitHub actually basically ID your test uh, CICD, uh, basically CICD pipeline. So this name should be different. This must be unique. Now the second one I will name it as simply as security check. Okay, and I will name this as security check. Now, I, I, okay, so this one is done. So I've added a security check here and Basically, it will do the same thing, but I'm not going to uh, clone the repository in this step. So I'm going to remove that. Okay. And yes, I'm going to use the run on, runs on Ubuntu latest. I don't want to uh, install the dependency again. So I'm going to remove this one also. Basically, I'm going to remove everything in the steps. I will add a new step here. So I will basically create a dummy step here. So I will write it something like check for security, where you basically add uh, security checks. So I will add this one and simply in the run command I will use echo running security checks like that. Okay, so this will echo like this test is running for security. And what I will do is to add a sleep here. So I will show you that after like having five seconds sleep this step will be stopped okay and after that i will basically uh mimic this oh sorry basically copy and paste this a couple of times i will show you what i'm doing here okay so i will security check one i will name it as one and two and then sorry two and then three okay so all this check will be run after five seconds so this one will run then five seconds later this one will run then five seconds later this one will run and so on so let's get to this and um, let's push this code and see if it is working so i will add the file i will push the changes so i will commit the changes and i will add the message and get security checks and then i will push okay as soon as i will push it it will create another action adding security check and as you can see we have two different work, work, uh, stages in this one so lint and security check and if we go to security check it will basically wait for five five seconds before that you can see the security running checks too so this one is running and after some time after five of seconds this will return true and this will complete the uh, whole actions Okay, so our this action is also passed. Okay, now we will just create a last one and see uh, how the basically if 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 there is a case where we want another um, job to run after this or after both this job pass, like the linting and the security check is passed, then only I want to build, build the image and push to production. So that that part we are gonna do. So for that. I will add another block here. So this is gonna be like something like deploy or something. So let's add this one. So deploy. Okay. Like this. Simple. The name is going to be deployment. Oops. 
and then we're going to make deployment. This will also run on P2 latest. Okay. Now, basically, this needs so this stage, this stage needs that our lint test and security check to be completed. Then only this will run. Okay. Lint test and security check. When this test port passes, then only this test will run. So this is the criteria for running this stage. Okay. Now, in this one, I will use the same thing. I will basically copy this one and just echo something on the console. Okay. So steps and runs. I don't want to install dependencies. I will have. I will copy this one again. And yeah, deployment. Okay, now let's go again push the changes. So hit add. Uh, let's do it in one line only. Hit commit am add it. Deployment and then get push. Okay, now if we go to the action tab again. You can see it's adding the deployment part, and now you can see this step will only run the deployment one, which is this one will only run after this two passes. Okay, so we will wait around 10 seconds and see if this works. Okay, now you can see that the deployment part is done. So after this both test passes, our deployment is ready. Now I will show you like what happens if something happens in our linting and the test basically fails. Okay. So for that, uh, what I did is uh, on ESLint, I add a rule here basically to throw an error. And in our index.js file, I, I added a, uh, imported a variable uh, function from next router. And I'm not using this. So basically, this will throw an error. So let us just commit this changes. So click add commit and then I'm making a fail test here. So I will put it on fail test and I will push the changes. Now as soon as I push it, it will start another process. So fail test this one. And as you can see, this test is not running until this two will be passed. So security check will be passed, but in this one we will have some error. Let's see. Look, so linting is failed, so this one will not run. So basically, the whole test failed. Uh, the whole CI/CD pipeline failed because one of the tests is uh, failed. So this is how you have multiple test cases. If you have um, basically you have multiple jobs in CI/CD pipelines. So yeah, so this is how you do it uh, using uh, GitHub Actions. In the next video, I will add a deployment phase where after the, after all the tests are basically successfully uh, ran, I will just push the code to the um, production uh, URL or something like that, like Heroku or something like that. We will have different uh, uh, environments in that, like staging, uh, testing, and then the production one. So hopefully you like the video. Uh, we will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.